Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump into Photoshop and I'm going to be working on this little panel. This is a picture of supposedly a mask. So I went online and I found several masks, but I found one that I really liked. So I'm going to use that one instead, one that is closely related to my sketch. So I had changed my mind, but the, but the composition is still the same. Okay, so for that, I am going to go ahead and just go to File, New, and type in the dimensions in inches, of course, of the size of the image that I want to use. Please note that I am using a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, and that I am also using RGB color. For this, I want to go ahead and take half or one quarter of my page. The width, then, is going to be 8.5 divided by 2 which is four and a quarter. That's the width. The height is 11 divided by two, which is five and a half. Then I'm gonna click OK. This will go ahead and create a document for me to start working on. Right now the background, or the foreground, rather the color, it's white. If I wanna fill this with black, I just go to Edit, Fill, black. Now I have a black background. Now I chose black because I like designing with black, especially for glossy brochures. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is to bring my image and just simply drop it in here, scale it, maybe do a little bit of cropping, and then positioning where I want it to be. Okay, so I got my image here, and all that I'm going to do, I found my image, now I'm going to drag and drop. And the first thing that you might notice yourself is that the image it might be a little too big or it has some things that you don't want to use like for instance I don't want to use this whole image so what I end up doing is I'm going to select my lasso tool and only select the portion of the image that I might want to use then I go ahead and select the inverse and then hit the delete key on my keyboard and that will go ahead and delete the portions of the picture that I don't want to use then I go here and I want to go ahead and flip the image. So that's what I mean by that is I want to go ahead and flip horizontally this image, but not the canvas. So you can go ahead and select the layer, go to edit, transform, and from the pull down menu that comes up, choose flip horizontally, which is towards the bottom. And I will go ahead and flip the image. You use your move tool and then you locate the image wherever you want the image to reside. I don't want I want to have it right here. You take your lasso tool and then you remove the extra stuff that you don't want to be part of your picture. Again, you select I select it using my lasso tool and I hit the delete key. Now I have an image that I might want to use for my design. Now, this image is different than the one that I have that I have used for the final design, but I'm going to show you step by step how it was created. So here it is. This is the first panel. The next thing to do here is to go to the file menu and save as. This will allow me an opportunity to save this document, we'll call it mask, as the right format. The right format for what we're trying to do is going to be a TIFF file. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose TIFF. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Click OK. Include all the layers. Sure. And we're done with the first panel. Notice that I didn't add any text here because I'm going to add the text on a program that handles text better, which is InDesign. 